Good morning to day two of my round Mount Taranaki um, hike. Uh, yesterday was quite a neat day. Um, I did have to do a little bit of extra kilometres. Worked out to be an extra around three kilometres um, because of a, a track closure. Um, so it was 13 kilometres and I know I was taking it easy but it shows what the tracks are like because that took me about six hours but half an hour for lunch and lots of breaks lots of photos lots of videos um, last night it rained um, and I put my tent up a little funny so um, I did get a dribble of water in one end where the end um, had overlapped my inner um, but it was only a small puddle which I quickly dried up this morning apart from that tent held up well as usual so today um, I walked got a stream crossing coming up in about 30 minutes um, then I'll be in the bush for a while I'll get to a track junction and then there's a choice of an upper and lower track I'm gonna take the upper it's meant to be the same amount of time despite the upper track um, being a longer distance but I think the lower tracks not as well maintained and there's a lot of um, uh, streams and ups and downs and ups and downs for the streams. so I'll take the upper track um, it has stopped raining um, but it's overcast so it's actually a, a lovely temperature and perfect conditions to get photos of this vivid green in the bush so good day I'm about to drop down to the stream it must be pretty steep because we actually have a stair to whoa <laughs> up us down yes that is quite a steep drop off you can hear the sound of the stream so it looks like I'm coming up to the big river now <laughs> As I say, the track's just a little overblown and growing in places. And there we go, out on the river. So I just came from there and now heading up the rocks. It started raining. Um, my shorts are already wet from brushing past the overgrown track and I have put my umbrella on just to keep the top half dry because it's too warm for a jacket um, so I'm just looking for the orange marker and there it is across the river um, so let's see how the river looks so a bit of rock hopping to even get to where the river is I've crossed a couple of smaller braids first not much of a view up the mountain today so it's not a big stream that I've got across and I'm just gonna jump across there that's just a lot of river walking um, there's a marker up there that I'm heading to and then I think we start to go above the river for a bit
I'm definitely the first one through here this morning because I'm being absolutely covered in cobwebs. Um, after the steep river bit, the trail has eased off a bit now. Um, but I can see why the upper route is the faster route. Um, all of these streams have got quite steep. They're in steep gullies. Um, so it's steep drop down to them and steep climb back out of them. Um, which isn't good with little legs like mine. Um, so I can see that going up and above all of the streams is definitely the quicker route. Even if it means going an extra couple of kilometres. Um, but this section of the track is pretty cool. Um, there you go. It's actually quite easy to walk on and not too overgrown. But that's more because of the vegetation type as opposed to the trail maintenance. Um, it stopped raining and it looks like the sun is trying to break through. So I might end up with a nice day for the rest of the day, hopefully. Yet another steep drop down to a riverbed. <laughs> That's what I've just come down. Because I'm back on the main track, we've now got stairs taking me down. And across there, and then in at the uh, orange triangle, takes it in. And it will be going up the steep to the top again. It's like a diving platform. Yeah, I might go down that one backwards. So you can see by the expected speed um, how rough that part of the track is. And then this is where I'm going. <laughs> so once again, another very slow speed. And I'm heading up that way. So this trail's in pretty good um, condition. It's been climbing at a nice steady pace that's quite easy to keep your momentum. Um, so vegetation is changing. I'm up out of the normal trees, getting up into more of the alpine type um, short trees. I'm not sure if I go completely above the tree line on this, but we'll see. So I've reached the, uh, the corner, so that was the bulk of the climbing has now been done. Um, it was actually pretty easy because the track was so um, good, you could keep some good momentum going. Um, so now I'm sidling along the side of the hill to get to the hut. So, this is Kahui Hut. Um, I know there's no one in it because I just bumped into a British couple who had just stopped here for lunch. Um, so it's a very basic hut. But, unlike Norway, it has a tap and a sink inside. Um, and then the bunk room is through here. So room for six people. Now the reason that these mats are sideways is so that 
um, mice don't run over them and leave their droppings. It keeps them clean and ventilated. Um, and it's a, a vinyl material um, so that people's sweat doesn't soak through. It keeps it a bit more hygienic. Um, so that is the hut. Um, they always have a intentions book. So even if you're not staying in the book, uh, correction, if you're not staying in the hut, you should still put your name down any time that you're near a hut. Um, it's got a lot of safety information and then um, people put their information the hat book. So this is my lunch, three tortillas um, with hummus cheese and salami. And generally I will eat while I read through the hat book. So I've just left the hut after having lunch um, and now it's a downhill to a track junction. Um, still a little overgrown but not quite as bad. Um, but that's because of the type of vegetation um, because I'm a lot lower dropping back down into the forest so the track actually looks like it'll be quite good the rocks and that's the track heading down you can see the uh, orange triangle there and then I should be crossing the river so that big job was me tripping up thankfully it didn't go over just come down this ladder <laughs> coming down into another stream <laughs> through the mud and we actually have a bridge across this one it's been very slow going um, on this part because of how steep um, have to go down and up to get into the streams and most of them don't have lovely ladders like that um, I've been having to use my hands to uh, grab onto branches and um, roots to try and haul myself up. Um, so definitely slow going. You can see why it's such a, a slow estimate. So here's what happens when there are no stairs. And that's one of the easier ones. It looks like I can actually do it without having to pull myself up using roots. Here's an example of the um, different coloured triangles. Um, so, as I said before, the orange triangles mark all of the tracks, um, and 
these different colored markers are to do with trap lines and you'll also see bits of ribbon, colored ribbon um, that will also indicate that there's a, a trap line going off into the bush there but do not follow unless it's an orange triangle This vine is called Supplejack and um, when you have to go through it it's got this really strange thing that even when you think you're clear it will still grab hold of you and uh, pull you back um, and it's what makes travel through this sort of terrain very very slowly if you don't have a nice track um, to walk on. junction so I'm probably about an hour away from the hut now Ooh. it's obviously a hut of some description wow well, this is a beautiful luxury track. crossed a stream and now it's the final 500 meters to get to the hut um, so very much looking forward to a nice rest and it'll be a quite an early day despite the late start um, but really neat track went quicker than I thought so five minutes to the huts and then tomorrow I go that way the six hours and thirty okay so five minutes and I'll be at the hut and here is the hut Wow, gorge hut and that was five hours and fifty today so it's got the water tank water comes off the roof into the tank looks like a good size hut helicopter landing pad this will be both for emergencies and to drop off workers to do maintenance and conservation Oh wow, and that is the view. So on a clear day you'd be seeing the mountain, um, but this is the gorge going down, beautiful. Okay, so that's me for the day, I will relax in the hut. So this is the inside of the hut, this is a more modern hut is um, nice and clean so that's the kitchen area um, bedrooms a fire firewood storage and then just a social area dining area and then the bunk houses are both the same um, just a platform bunk with the mattresses and there's a platform up the top which is for more um, people to sleep 